Let's see how to solve the system of quadratic equations. Do you know there's one, there's two. First we do one minus two. So we get x squared minus y squared, xy cancel out, plus y minus x equals 28 minus 14, 14. We factor the first two terms, so we get x minus y times x plus y. The second two terms, write as x minus y equals 14. Now we take the common factor out, so x minus y times x plus y minus 1 equals 14. We denote as 3. Now we do addition, 1 plus 2. So we get x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, right? And then plus x plus y equals 28, 14, so 42. The first three terms combine to a perfect square, so x plus y squared plus x plus y. I move this term to the left side, minus 42 equals 0. View x plus y as a single variable, factor it, so we get x plus y minus 6 times x plus y plus 7 equals 0. So we have two possibilities. So x plus y minus 6 equals 0, or x plus y plus 7 equals 0. Let's look at the first case. That would be x plus y equals 6. So we plug into 3. So by 3, so we get x minus y times x plus y, which is 6 minus 1, equals 14. So here's 5. So both sides divided by 5. So we get x minus y equals 14 over 5. So we get a new system of linear equations. That would be x plus y equals 6. x minus y equals 14 over 5. Add them together, you see we get 2x, y, negative y, cancel out. So the right side equals 6 plus 14 over 5. We can write as 30 plus 14 over 5, which is 44 over 5. Both sides divided by 2. So we get x equals 22 over 5. Subtract them. x minus x, 0. So y minus negative y. So 2y equals 6 minus 14 over 5. Again, we can write 30 minus 14 over 5. So equals 16 over 5. So both sides divide by 2. So we get y equals 8 over 5. If x plus y equals negative 7, so negative 7, again, plug in 3, so get x minus y times x plus y, which is negative 7 minus 1 equals 14. So we get negative 8 times x minus y equals 14. So x minus y equals negative 14 over a, or you can simplify it as negative 7 over 4. So we get a new system of linear equations. So x plus y equals negative 7. Yeah, y. x minus y equals negative 7 over 4, right? So again, add them together. So we get 2x, y, negative y, cancel out. Equals negative 7 minus 7 over 4. So we get negative 28 minus 7 over 4. So we get negative 35 over 4. Both sides divided by 2. So we get x equals negative 35 over 8. Subtract them, so we get 2y equals negative 7 minus minus or plus 
7 over 4. So again, we can write negative 28 plus 7 over 4. So we get negative 21 over 4. So y equals negative 21 over 8. So we get two solutions. The first one is there. The second one is there. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.